everyone, I'm Jennifer Zarate and you're watching CRN TV. Welcome to the channel Cooking at Home, where we mix business with pleasure, sharing homemade recipes while also covering hot channel topics. And here with me today is Cleo's Vidya Chidaga. Thank you for joining me today, Vidya. Thank you, Jennifer. I'm so excited to be here. I've been dreaming about this day for a while now. Well, I love the excitement and it's great to have you on. So what recipe will you be sharing with us today? I am bringing to you one of India's most popular street food called Bhel Puri. Ooh, sounds delicious. So what ingredients do we need for this dish? So let me take you to the first set of ingredients, okay? So the first set of ingredients are the puffed rice, which I like to dry roast and make it very crispy and ready. Then you've got the three vegetables, which is tomatoes, diced tomatoes, cooked diced potatoes, and you've got chopped onions, right? I love peanuts, so I go a little extra on dry roasted salted peanuts. <laughs> And then um, there's there's some crispies that uh, that's optional that you can add on top, and then save, which is S E V, is um, is 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 just a form of fried vermicelli. Honestly, it's gram flour, chickpeas flour, vermicelli. That's what we would use today when we actually put the bail puri together. But before this, let me talk about the two chutneys, right? So the ingredients for the chutney. We have a tamarind dates chutney, which is we have dates, we have tamarind, we have uh, molasses, we have some red chili powder and salt to taste. And, and Jennifer, just so you know, a chutney is like a salsa, it's like a sauce. You you blend the ingredients together to make a nice, um, uh, a nice paste sometimes, or sometimes it's a little more watery, but it's something that you add in to the bhel puri and when you mix it up, it's just super delicious. And the second chutney ingredients are You've got lime or lemon. Of course, you've got the main ingredient, cilantro. And I like to toss in a few mint leaves when I get the chance. There's green chilies and garlic and salt to taste. And of course, there's this optional ingredient, onion. I like onions in everything. So there's a little bit of onion that I would grind up. It brings uh, the water into the dish, into the, into the chutney as well, which we need a little bit for. So those are the ingredients, Jennifer. Excellent. It looks vibrant and I can't wait to see how it'll look once it's all thrown together. So why don't you walk us through the first few steps? The first step would be because we are doing this live, the first step would be to make those two chutneys, right? I would need to blend that together and bring it out and keep it all ready for when we toss the bail puri together. So let me go ahead and blend it right now. Okay. And I can show you the ingredients. Put it into the blender. I had some chopped onions from here. I promise my hands are clean, Jennifer. The next steps are to bring it all together. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have a container that I would take the puffed rice in first, right? And this is when we, when we talk about when we talk about business, it's interesting. I picked this dish because it's almost like direct to consumer. I have to make this for Jennifer. I have to make it for the person I'm serving this to. It's done on a person by person basis. Even on the street side, they would make it for one individual at a time. So they would actually bring up all the ingredients and say, okay, ma'am, what, what would you like? And we'd be pointing out and we would say, oh, I want that and I want this. So very similar to that, you bring all the dry ingredients together. Right, you put the, the, the puffed rice. I would love to add the, a little bit of save inside first. I want to make sure that I show it to you here in the camera. Then to me, onions are pretty dry. So let's, and okay, come on. I love onions. I'm going to go generous on that. Potatoes, boiled potatoes, this carb in here brings out a perfect flavor. Be a little careful with tomatoes. I actually dried these up on a paper towel so it's not too soggy. Get a get a slightly harder tomato, not the super juicy one, right? I promise, Jennifer, my hands are clean. I've washed it. What I would do is I would take um, a, a couple of these chip-like, like a hard uh, tortilla and just break it into this, right? It, it really adds the crunch to it. And you, I mean, it's, it's delicious when you have it in the middle of a bhel puri. Now that you have the raw ingredients, I mean the dry ingredients, I'm sorry, you can go ahead and start with your chutneys. I mean, you can give this a toss. Why not? Why not? Let's give it a toss, right? And this is where you get ready for the chutneys. 
you say, okay, oh my goodness, look at that, look at that. Oh, okay, I'm hungry, Jennifer, and it's just past breakfast time. So I am like, you know. And if I were not on TV, I promise, Jennifer, I would have just used my hands, right? But hey, we don't want to scare our audience away. We want it to look good. We want it to look, it to look appetizing. So here, it's mixed up. I would toss in some peanuts. Hello. We need peanuts. Now, this needs to be plated super quickly, Jennifer. This needs to be eaten before it gets soggy. So honestly, imagine how simple this dish is if you have all the ingredients ready, right? Imagine how easy it is to impress your kids when they come home from school. And this is what I grew up with, Jennifer. Oh, some save on top. Um, you know, this is ready to be served. Jennifer, I wish I could reach through this, the, the camera and serve this to you. Look at that. Now let's switch gears as we're seeing supply chain and manufacturing companies going more direct to consumer. What can you tell us about this latest trend? Yeah, sure, Jennifer. Um, as we're done with our cooking part, I'm thinking it's the right time to move out of the kitchen into the home office where we can have a better conversation and I can be a little more focused on work. Um, so yeah, I mean, um, honestly, B2B e-commerce has become such a big deal in our, in our current environment. Manufacturers, wholesalers, logistics providers, almost everybody in the supply chain is rethinking their strategy. They're talking, they're thinking about how can I get to the consumer fast enough and on time, right? So for example, you asked about manufacturers. Manufacturers and wholesalers are looking at a direct to consumer model where they're saying, yes, I, 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 in the past, I would take it to the retailer and from the retailer to the consumer. And now how can I, how can I switch? How can I skip the middle step and get straight to the consumer. And what does this new trend mean for the channel? More specifically, Clio Partners. Clio is a company that offers both API and EDI integrations on the same platform. So we are an ecosystem integration company that offers any type of cloud and on-premise integration. And when we talk about one business talking to another business, that communication, Jennifer, in the past you sh used to happen exclusively in, in, in EDI terms, which is electronic data in, interchange, right? And in the EDI uh, world, it was okay for businesses to say the handshake between various uh, businesses have to happen a particular way. But the modern trend is API based. And when you need the same platform uh, that can do both, Clio is it's the only game in town. So how does Clio's latest innovation empower its partners to do more within this new normal business environment? So when it comes to end-to-end -end visibility, um, our customers are not just looking for a business, a, a sub part of the business process, but they're saying we have order to cash business process, we've procured to pay, we've low tender to, uh, to invoices. And these kinds of business processes are so mission critical for these organizations that 77% of the companies say that visibility is top in their mind when it comes to running a successful supply chain business. So what's unique about Clio's integration cloud platform? So um, there are three things that make Clio very different. First is we've got our API and EDI integration on the same platform. This is like saying you can be batch based, um, old school proven EDI, or you may want new modern API integration. You don't need two solutions. You have a CIC for it. Right. And the second thing is the end to end visibility, Jennifer. There's literally no there's there's no other solution in the marketplace today that lets you that gives you that end to end business process visibility. And number three is where after you've brought the bought the product comes service. Right. We all know that we drive out of a showroom in a BMW and then we are like, oh, my God, I didn't think about the service part of it. Right. So service is so important with Clio. We give you more choice. We give you the choice of managed service where we manage it for you. 
we manage all of the integrations for you or we give you self service where you say i'm a manufacturer i have a large integration team they can take care of stuff just give me your product we do that too so the, the those three things together make clio extremely unique and when clio is a business to business so a b2b integration platform as a service so in a nutshell it offers b2b ipass you want to try the dish yeah. <laughs> oh my god that looks amazing so <laughs> if your teenager says it's good then i'm sure it's good well thank you both so much bye so much jennifer bye <laughs>